Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Iceni campaign. Uh, we pick up pretty much from where we left off, only a couple of turns ahead. I'll fill you in on what you've missed, uh, it really wasn't much, mainly dealing with public order, building up my armies and moving them into position for this assault they're about to do here. But when we last left off, my troops were at port around this coastline here, with the Brigantes uh, under siege by the guys up the north. The Brigantes were wiped out, and the assaulters, the guys that are attacking them that now control the area here, they pretty much wiped them out completely. Uh, unfortunately, the army that I had here on the coast was not formidable enough to assault the city straight away. So I was forced to pull back, deal with the public order and everything, uh, rebuild my armies and get to the point where we're at right now. Now, this is what the current situation is in Britannia. It is cut 50-50 down the middle, pretty much. We are on really good terms with them, due to our past... Uh, well, we were on better terms earlier. We did have old wars that, uh, with their enemies and everything. But they utterly refused to join the Confederacy. You honor us. There is food enough for two oh, armies awaiting us when we have talked. But yeah, uh, they refuse to join me, so we're just going to destroy them. It's kind of put me in an awkward position because I need this place to get the Britannia province, and I need this place to get the other province. Right now, I have control of none of the province, so I can't issue edicts. So they've left me without absolutely no choice, really, in that matter. I have to take it. And once we have all Britannia, we don't have to worry about being attacked from anywhere else. We can just focus on crossing the narrow sea into Gaul, which should be quite fun in itself. So yeah, uh, you've missed absolutely nothing. Just dealing with public order, getting my public order back under control, building up my shit, and dealing with some technological stuff that I was doing, which we'll click on that for now before I forget. But I have unlocked the ability to recruit chariots, which should be quite entertaining in itself. I live to serve I've got the warrior sons and warriors. War warriors. Not sure who's ready yeah, for battle. Just... For what we'll do first, right now they can't see my guys, and what, what I've done is hidden my guys in the forest. And now they've moved all their forces into the north because they can't see me, so they've left this town pretty much undefended. So what we're going to do, stick it in normal formation, and in one fell swoop we can move straight in. But what we'll do first is make use of the AI, uh, the agent as much as we possibly can. If we can poison their wells, it'll be... Easier to take than otherwise. Wounded. <laughs> okay, that didn't go as planned, but it was worth trying. So, we will uh, go straight in here and kick some serious ass. Now, it's my hope that when we take this location here, what I will do is force these units up in the north to start desertion, because they won't have enough troops to do anything of decent value. They won't have the food to maintain all those armies in the north. So they'll have no choice but to get their asses kicked. But anyway, we'll, we, we will go in here and do this because I really want to play around with the chariots. I have never done them before. And we'll probably lose a lot less troops if we fight it in the battle ourselves. I have absolutely never used chariots before in the entire game. So I mean, I've used them before in Rome 1 and other uh, Total War games, obviously, but never in this. Never for this faction. But it's my hope we can take this place with very limited casualties. Because we're going to need all of our strength to face the other guys that are going to be coming down from the north. I was kind of hoping to use that spy to poison some of their supplies and everything to make them a bit weaker. Especially the armies in the north when they come down. But hopefully the desertion will uh, weaken them enough as it is. Yeah, let's start deployments. What layout we got here? Just a big ass open thing. Yeah, it's fine. Charioteers! Chariots ready! Get all the chariots in the position. Man. Stay together! Levy free man! Get all these guys in position Levy and my ready. skirmishers into position. Mighty chariots! Now, I have never used the chariots before, but I assume they can cause rather devastating uh, 
friendly fire if they connect to your own troops. So we'll stick them around the sides and hopefully won't get any giant fuck-ups on our hands. So first thing we'll do, stick those guys there. Our spears are yours. And these guys can attack from this side. Sons of the Oak. There you go. Slingers. Missiles ready. And these guys can just stick with them. Swords. If I can, I'll stick them in the forest and. Uh, Worry about it afterwards. Charioteers. We'll put them considerably back a bit so they can move around without having to worry about too much uh, friendly damage. <laughs> Britons! Now is the day to make your mark, men. Take this place, and in doing so, heavy. Forward! Warriors of Britain! Warriors of Britain! <laughs> I do love how overly enthusiastic the voice actors are for the Britannians. Orders! Anything for the gods! Battle ready! Run, curse you! For the mother! The chariots should be pretty awesome. They aren't the most upgraded of chariots, I don't think, but... We can deal with that later. They can't actually see any of this army that I've got over here. But these guys Let are in. getting pelted. Spearmen! Heavy Spearmen! Spearmen ready for battle! Levy Freemen! Uh, can these guys flank around? Yeah, they can. Kill, kill. That's what I'll do. Send in just... Those guys like this. Forward! Fearless warriors. Get moving, move it. Skirmishers. So I'm thinking if I can get these guys all the way around here. I really hate these guys sometimes. I want them to attack, but they won't attack. Really, the controls for the game are sometimes really sticky and it's quite annoying. But here's what I'm going to do now. The battle is turning in our favor. Click on the cavalry. Yeah, there you go. That's what I want with these lads. They can get up there and cap the middle. Yep, no, I don't need to... What are you doing? Go, double click. I want you to run over there. Right in the middle. Like I'm telling you to do. Okay, 
They're getting these guys to attack from the back. She goes on the route. guys to attack them. I don't really think my chariots are overly necessary right now, to be honest. Get the chariots in there to kill them. I'm already capping the middle with just this one unit that I've taken around. The men are wavering. Ah, uh, may as well bow. Not sure how many... Yeah, we lost not too many troops, really. There wasn't really much of a ch chance to get any kills with the chariots. They were too close for those little corridors and pathways and stuff. We would have killed more of my own troops than we would have the enemy. Although we probably did, could have just uh, charged straight away because they don't really have any decent troops to defend against us. Although the spearmen might put up a decent defense against the horses, I suppose. Now, yeah, here, here's a uh, interesting little thing that I can do. I could liberate and return the original Odins of the region to power. So I could uh, resurrect the Brigantes army. Which isn't really what we want to do. <coughs> we will occupy. Your next command. I live to serve the people of Britain. There you go. Upgrade that. <coughs> and increased cunning for this guy. And what we'll do, we'll bring up these guys as well. Yeah, these guys. I want hourly patrols. Getting on our way. Now, assuming that they don't attack Warriors us immediately. All. Ready for orders. Which they probably will. Warriors all. Nick, what's this? I can. What's this do? I'm not entirely sure what the fuck that does. Uh, level two horses. Cost me 150 every turn, and I'm already in kind of debt, so. We won't bother with that right now. In an open battle, if we could get one, we just beat the shit out of the enemy with uh, our chariots. Because you can see their troops consist of mainly spear militia and rather crappy units. So beating them would be quite easy. Yeah, we are losing a degree of public order due to our recent conquest. But anyway, we will end the turn. We can't stick them in any stances just yet. The people of Britain. Nope, I can actually do this. Yeah, garrisoned. Recruit new troops, army. Come, we'll do that. Fight for us, lads. Uh, what's this? Aha, yes, we can issue an edict now, can't we? That we control the entire region. We've got tribute collection, plus 10 tax rates. Uh, bread and games, which does plus... Yeah, that's pretty much sweet. That's the one I was looking for, the bread and games one. Which should take into effect in the next turn. Anyway, now we'll end the turn and see what our enemy's next move is. 
Unfortunately, because we're now at war with them, we can't see their movements. If they're stupid enough, they'll come and attack me, which is what I'm hoping for. Because if we have to attack them, it's going to get bloody. <laughs> Very bloody. Of course, with our chariots, if it's in an open field, which is like the ideal thing that we could do, attack them in an open field with our chariots. Yes, come to me. Preferably not all at the same time, though. So what we got here? Yeah, every single one of them against all of our guys. Okay, uh, we can do this. This might put a strain on my computer because we're going to have quite a large army to control right here. But this should be quite good. Because what I'll do is send out my... I'll set up defensive positions inside the town, if I can. Because actually, I might not be able to deploy because they're attacking me. All we'll do is we'll send out my ch my chariots to beat the shit out of them before I can even do anything. And we do have lots of traps and shit to set up. Which is nice. And our guys are coming in from behind, I believe. Which is cool. Okay, so we've got spikes. Spikes cause damage to mounted units. We just set up choke points. I'm just thinking, where's the best place to put spikes for cavalry? There and maybe here. If they charge with cavalry, I'm pretty sure they do have some cavalry. Now the fireballs are debatable because we don't really have much of a... Actually, we do have a slope for like place here, don't we? So if we keep skirmishes... Like, right here at all times. Although that might cause more damage to my own units than anybody else. <laughs> so yeah, that's my concern. That might cause more damage to my own guys than anyone. Unless, of course, I do this... And keep my units there and just sort of use it as a stupid remover to push the walls that way. Once again, could cause more damage to my own troops than anyone else. Ideally, these things are meant to be like put on top of hills and shit. Which I suppose is ideal for this little section here. But they could roll and kill any one of my troops. And I'm pretty sure that we won't even get that far. So I'm, I'm just going to not place the balls of death. <laughs> They'll be far more useful up close and personal. Food burnt. Sons of the Oak. Food burnt. Strappers ready. Okay, join those guys together. Britons. I'm going to stick these saw bands over here at this choke point. Now, there's another thing I've noticed with this, with uh, Rome 2. There is no, like, defensive stance for units, really. So you have to, like, micromanage everything. It's really quite annoying. Sword man. Hold formation. Spearman, ready for battle. Ready. Yeah, 
Just going to put these spearmen at the back, really, for just in case we need to move them at the last second. Britons! Yeah, not with the Freeman! with the chariots. We don't need them as they are. Stay together. Levy, hold formation. You have our spears. Levy Freeman. Assuming, of course, that this is going to be the only way that they attack, which it Deadly probably will be, but. Ready. Actually, far better position to have them on top of the ledge. If I can get them to actually stay, remain straight on top of the ledge for me. Skirmishers! Warriors. There we go. Those guys should be shoot down from the top of there. Wow. These slingers do what they can from over this way. They're just going to be able to bust down that thing right there, aren't they? Spearmen ready for battle. Yeah. Just occurred to me that they can just walk right past that, so. They can obviously flank around, but we'll deal with that with our uh, with our chariots, which I'll move around right now. Uh, stick these guys in line formation, just so I can. The idea is to move them around the perimeter and just cut up the enemy as we go. I'll keep one die in the middle, just because I've always uh, hated... <laughs> Slingers. There's a strong possibility that they might just sort of, you know, screw me over and... Suddenly appear to be right behind me. Okay, we'll start the battle and see how shit's going down. They can't actually see my guys yet, but enemy reinforcements approaching. We've also got friendly reinforcements, which I'm going to use immediately. Ready for battle! Hold formation! It is going to be really incredibly hard to micromanage all of these dudes. Are they just going to be able to break through that little gap right there? I really hope not. <laughs> Mighty chariots! Britons! Fire on them! Warriors of Britain! No, they're going to be stuck on that choke point, which is fine. Chariots ready! Speed. Yeah, the chariots are going to do some serious damage. The thing is, we need to get all of these guys we have stuck in this little position. Yeah, this guy and these guys should all be in the same Formation. 
Uh, in fucking line formation. Just get to these trees. It's my hope that we can just clash with them from behind. If you know what I mean. Proud sons of Britain! Then he selected this guy. Okay, and they have all decided to attack exactly the same fucking location. So that's, uh... Okay, it's doing it again. See what I mean? It's got the attack symbol on the thing rather than the normal one. So it's not letting me... Yeah, it's weird how that works. Actually, what I can do, actually, uh, we'll stick with it for now, but. Wait a minute, can I actually just skip right through these buildings? I'm just wondering, can I get through these defenses? Because they're no use to me up here, seeing as all of their guys are. Uh, Ooh, crap. Actually, we have enemy reinforcements coming in right from behind us, don't we? So, this is, is sort of getting more problematic by the second, really, isn't it? Uh, if we can get these guys yeah, into the line formation and move them up here. Or is there entrance points that they've got to enter from behind? Not much, really. No, I want you to go into line formation. And then pause, because they've got these guys coming up right from behind us. We don't need these dudes flanking up on us or anything stupid like that. Jesus Christ, there's a lot of troops and, like, nowhere near enough time to micromanage all of it in... I would dread not being able to pause during this game, because it would just be all over the place. There's like no time to do the cinematic views because I've got to move all of these guys. It should cause massive amounts of damage. The men are wavering. Eager for blood! Sold burn! They Battle will bleed ready. for 